Hi all, just another wee quick video blog just to kind of demonstrate to you what Japanese knotweed is currently looking like if you're trying to kind of spot it if you have any concerns at the moment. Now certainly in Scotland we've had quite a, a late spring just because of the bad weather so knotweed in itself is, uh, has, has been a wee bit late and kind of blooming but you can see here from this particular example that I've got it's now beginning to kind of bloom and the, the canes are up to about four feet in height but they kind of vary at the moment in time for example I can see some fresh canes here that are just coming out the ground that are no more than a foot in actual height but they're growing very quickly I was looking at this particular crop of knotweed like last week and I can clearly see a difference of up to a foot if not more with some of the plants especially at the back there where there's an additional light so just some things to look out for um, as we've mentioned before in these video blogs and these video identification videos look out for a kind of cane structure almost bamboo like if you were to kind of split the cane structure you'll notice that it's kind of hollow in segments have a look for the canes that are light kind of brown with lots of little kind of spots. I don't know if you can see that as I'm moving in a wee bit closer. And moreover, look for leaves that are now beginning to wrap out from the stems. And you'll notice a kind of heart shape with um, the leaves not going at almost like a zigzag pattern. You can see here as they're like rolling out from the actual stems. And certainly if you've got any uh, concerns, please visit our identification section on our website at www.wisenotweeds.com forward slash identification or alternatively give us a call on the, the 0800 number on the website.